Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in the last uh, camera trailer video I did, I showed you the uh, install of the Enerdrive DC DC charger, Victron shunt, uh, 240 15 amp charger, and the uh, 500 watt inverter. I modified the battery bracket uh, to take a lithium battery. Um, I've now brought a lithium battery, so I'm going to uh, go through the steps I'm supposed to change out the, the old battery to the, the new lithium. I decided to go with a Amtron, it's a 150 amp hour battery. Yeah, yeah so that'll, that'll change that straight out, hopefully, where the full river goes. Was. Now we've moved the old battery, time to install the new one. Well, you can see the old battery, um, AGM 105, uh, and the Ampron, Ampron sorry, uh, Lithium 150. Uh, the reason for the upgrade is the, the Lithium 150 should give me about 120 usable amp hours, as opposed to the old AGM, where it's about 52. Uh, and a half usable amp hours um, according to the depth of discharge of 50% uh, versus lithium being 80% uh, depth of discharge. Yeah, time to install it. Now that the battery is connected, I need to reset um, the charges uh, to lithium, to lithium charges as opposed to the AGM. So I do this uh, 240 charge, I'll just disconnect it from the battery so we don't put the wrong charge into the battery and cause damage. Alright, I'll just turn the charger on. And the beauty of these Victron chargers is a uh, Bluetooth. So you can just go into the settings, change it from normal to lithium ion. Now I'll just turn it back off. And reconnect the here, once the little light goes out, so there's a bit of power in the system. Alright, that's off. I'll just reconnect it all, turn the power back on. Alright, now the power's back on. Just run through its settings. So it's on a bulk charge. Yeah. That's it, it's all set up. So that charger is set on the lithium ion. See my little blue light on there. Bulk charge. That one's done. Now I just gotta do the DC DC charger. Hey right, guys, I just set up the uh, DC DC they drive to be able to charge uh, lithium. How to do that, we just got to hold this button in for a couple of seconds, wake it up, and it'll just run through a uh, cycle before we can uh, start setting the changing the settings. All right, let's hold this button down. Now, you see across the top here. Now uh, you have gel, AGM, loaded uh, lithium in the program. So just press the select button. It goes through the different settings or um, batteries. Uh, we want lithium, so do that. Press the set button. Uh, the bulk charge. Uh, again, press the select button. Uh, comes up with a voltage. Just change voltage, just change the select button again. Uh, recommendations for lithium is 14.4. 
then set uh, the float charge uh, again 13.5 psp the recommendation um, for lithium again we'll just select oops sorry Too many butterfingers. Right, uh, 13.5 set. Uh, this is the amperage of um, maximum it can put out. So it goes up multiples of 5, so 35, 40, 45, 50 amp. Even though it's DC, DC 40 amp charger, you can actually do 50 amps. So I'll just set this at uh, 40 amps. They recommend 30% of. Of what the the battery is, and it's a 150 amp battery, so which is 45 amps. So I'll just leave it at 40. All right, set. And the L rating, so they recommend if you've got some fridges running, um, just to keep that at the highest setting of amps. So four, six, or eight. And set. That's it, job done. When you finish, just press the menu button. That's done, then we'll switch yourself off. That's it, it's all set, ready to hook up. All right guys, now the DC's uh, set for lithium. I'll just uh, plug it into the car and I'll start up and see if she's uh, putting in the required amps. Programs on lithium, it's a good sign. Every five volts. All right, I'm gonna give the car a few revs and see what changes. We're working fine. Good times. Alright, guys, that's it. That's the complete setup now. Um, got the Amtron 150 amp lithium battery, the Victron shunt, the inner drive 40 amp DC DC charger, the Victron smart charger from plugged into power, top up the battery and the 500 watt inverter that reason i got the 500 watts only really charge kids laptops and bits and pieces while we're on the road so i didn't want to go the full full hog that's it i suppose the main benefit of the 150 amp uh, amtron is uh the weight of that is 19 kilos the full river agm i just took out weighs 31 so saving about 12 kilos uh, on the front end of the drawbar so should be good but guys, uh, hope you enjoyed that, give you some information, cheers.